I want to introduce a new series called the Seduction series. Seduction is a superpower. It is the power of influence and enchantment too. It's like we go under the spell of something or someone. Its effect is subtle and also insidious. So we might miss its hold over us, but it has the power to hold us tightly in its grip. We usually think of seduction between a man and a woman, but actually it's everywhere in our lives. It permeates our culture, it's in advertising, in marketing, in politics. It's the same casting of a spell, luring someone towards you with power. But I want to talk about an unconventional way of looking at seduction. It's not just people or marketing on the outside of us but the inside our emotions for instance our moods our thoughts and feelings our attitudes and our habits like anger disappointment despair even self absorption like narcissism they suck us in and blindly seduce us for long periods of time and i want to emphasize here that such is the power of negativity all negativity it's a dark energy like a black hole where we disappear into and it robs us of the possibility of getting out of it my point is that we allow ourselves to be sucked in by a strong force that we feel we cannot resist yet we are co-creators in this force and we are co-creators of our happiness then why do we do this simply because we don't know we have another choice the purpose of this series is to learn ways to see through the gloom to the other side where hope lives there is a win we really want to get to that is its purpose life always gives us a win in every challenging stressful situation it's our job to find it so through this series let's explore the real reason underneath our attraction to these unpleasant emotions why we allow ourselves to stay in the dark and let's explore the journey to the other side of the rainbow shall we Join spiritual psychologist and India's number one biofeedback practitioner Ritu Malhotra as she guides you through the paths of self-discovery and personal transformation so that you can live in alignment with your values and purpose. You are listening to the Cellular Alchemist podcast and here's your host Ritu Malhotra. practicing emotional first aid let's think about this for a moment ask yourself do you value the body more than you do your mind is the body your favorite or does your mind get equal attention i started thinking about this when i was watching my little nephew he fell off a chair and hurt his knee He cried a little and then reached for a band-aid in the medicine cabinet and took care of his wound. I was amused and frankly I was very proud of his self-reliance. We all know how to take care of our body. But what do we know about our psychological health? We know all about basic hygiene. But do we teach our kids about emotional hygiene? I think we spend more time taking care of our teeth than we do our mind. Though it's true that we sustain emotional injuries more often than we do the physical, which is every time we are fearful, it's an injury. Every time we feel rejected or lonely or betrayed, we are deeply hurt. 
and we are told usually by others just shake it off it's all in your head it's time we make our physical health and our mental health more equal and what are the ways that we can do that how often we feel lonely without knowing what to do or who to ask for advice loneliness wounds us and scrambles our brains it makes us believe that those around us don't care for us it makes us fearful of reaching out because we might be rejected it has little to do with how many people you have around you it has to do with how emotionally connected you feel chronic loneliness is more dangerous than you imagine it has the sure signs of early disease and worse and early death maybe with high bp or high cholesterol and of course an under functioning immune system loneliness isn't the only demon that threatens our mental health the other is failure and here i want to share a little scene that i witnessed i was watching some toddlers at a nursery class who had identical boxes of toys that were given to them the first two tried to open the box when they couldn't they gave up in fact one even started crying now the third one fast and fast with it finally figured it out and out popped a toy rabbit she squealed with delight she had one these three kids were the same in every way except in their reaction to failure the minds of the first two tricked them into believing that they could never succeed we all have this default setting that gets triggered whenever we encounter frustration our mind can also seduce us into believing that we can't master the frustration we are feeling it seduces us into feeling helpless and not even trying to attempt this is why so many people function below their actual potential somewhere in the past they had a single or a small series of failures that convinced them that they would never make it and so guess what they really don't and that early experience seduces the body and the mind to succumb to a belief that later becomes a habit we hurt ourselves with emotional injuries all the time by putting ourselves down and by disrespecting our value yes disrespecting our value but the more important to know is that when we are injured by this kind of self blame we are prone to stress and anxiety and we no longer can recover as easily as we used to it takes much longer to get us back into balance again the hurtful event passes but when we ruminate over it when we think about it over and over again it gets worse so i suggest when you're in emotional pain treat yourself with the same compassion as you would expect from a truly good friend battling emotional fatigue and negative thinking that creates self doubts that plague us so start to doubt your doubts isn't that a nice way to say it doubt your doubts yes and that's the win in loneliness frustration or any emotional pain because these states can seduce us yes i mean they can seduce us into wallowing in discomfort and doubt so don't cover it up with a bandaid instead face it with professional help this way you change your responses to failure by protecting your self esteem you not only heal your feelings 
but you build emotional resilience and you give yourself a chance to thrive just imagine a healthy feeling world what if there was less depression less pessimism and people worked towards feeling better about themselves yes i can imagine it as john lennon said and i wish that you can imagine it too that's a super win that was this week's episode for the cellular alchemist podcast with spiritual psychologist ritu malhotra don't forget to follow the podcast on your listening app so that when the new episode drops you do not miss out on the chance to change your life by changing your beliefs